inside of content log, you may see that you do not have your DC publisher meta tags inside of the pages of your website. Now, DC publisher, why is that important? Well, the, w, the Dublin Core metadata has been created for uh, making sure that everybody understands what any piece of content is about, who contributed to it, who created it, who has ownership over a certain piece of content, and that's why it is very, very important. Now, a lot of people will say that DC Publisher is important for SEO, that DC Publisher is not important, or any other stuff related to DC Publisher meta tags. So the meta tags are basically data about data. They are important if you're starting to get serious about the content that you produce on your website or with your website. Because um, it will show a lot of data about your content. So if you're really trying to offer high quality content, you need to make sure that each piece of content that you have on your website actually manages to express a lot of data about that certain piece of content, like who wrote it, what was the title, what date did it get published on, and other stuff like that. So there are a lot of uh, DC Publisher meta tags that you can see uh, inside of the article that you have in Content Look. But what I'm going to show you is an example. If you're trying to become really serious about the content inside of your website, you should start thinking at least about this, right? So using the DC Publisher meta tags of title, creator, subject, contributor, and date. Well, why is this important? Imagine that you make like the biggest guide related to growth hacking a mobile app using Facebook, okay? So if you're writing that highly valuable piece of content, that guide, that complete guide to doing that kind of stuff that I just talked about earlier, you will need to have a title for it, which is the guide to blah, blah, blah. The creator, the creator is your company. So if Squirly, for example, would produce this piece of content, the creator would be Squirly. And we're placing in Squirrel Limited because that's the official name of our company in the United Kingdom. Now, the title is Guide, etc. It's Guide to Growth Hacking Mobile Apps through Facebook. Okay? Now, you also have the subject. The subject is Growth Hacking Mobile Apps with Facebook. No, I'm just kidding. The, the, basic, the basic subject of the whole article, the whole guide, is actually growth hacking. And this is going to be important for people who search for growth hacking, because the subject of this piece of article is actually growth hacking, so people who search about growth hacking will get exactly the kind of subject that they would want to read about. Now the idea is that we, let, let's pretend that we actually produce this piece of content, and we had different contributors. Well, it's very unfair to anybody not to specify the contributors, especially because they've actually helped you build up this content. And now, let's assume, this is just an assumption, let's assume that a big company or a developer or somebody actually helped us produce a piece of content. So, the contributor could be something like, uh, I don't know, website.com, let's just use website.com, not to give any brand names out there. Okay, so let's say that people from website.com and also Robert actually contributed to the really big guy that we've published, it only makes sense that we actually attribute that to our contributors. And also the publishing date. Okay, so that's the publishing date for our very impressive guide right here. And that's why it makes sense, you know, you see? It makes sense to actually attribute all these descriptions for our piece of content so that everybody knows everything there is to it. Uh, and that's how you actually make your content become even more valuable for people because now they can learn the title of the subject, who created it, who contributed, and when it was published. And if you're going to look over the meta tags that we are displaying in the article you have here in Content Look, you're gonna see that there's a lot more of these tags that you can attribute to a piece of content so that everybody can learn who created that piece of content and what that piece of content is all about.